live from Bali today. And I wanna to talk to you about trust in online selling and give you a little tour of the crib. So we're hanging out in Ubud, Indonesia, and this is kind of like a cultural hotspot in Bali. It's kind of a big hippie scene. There's a lot of yoga, a lot of meditation, spiritual retreats, things like that, but it's a very popular expat spot in Bali. And there's also a lot of digital nomads here. So it's a great place to come and work. Uh, the architecture is beautiful. Things are pretty cheap. The lifestyle is very nice. You can see that's the pool out there. And I'll give you a little tour of the rest of the place. But one of the things I want to talk about today is trust in online selling. So if you're just getting started and you want to sell Facebook advertising services or you want to sell your online course or whatever it is, one of the things you have to do is build trust with your customer or your client. And this is something that keeps a lot of people from getting started because they think, well, if I've never had a client before, how could I possibly build trust with this person? Now, we can look at Airbnb rentals as a model for how online business works. So let's think about a place like this. Let's say that somebody buys a place like this because they want to rent it out on Airbnb. Check out this place, by the way. Here's the inside. We got this table over here. It's a good spot to work. And uh, the kitchen back here. And every day our, our um, chefs, YN and YN, come and they make us breakfast in the kitchen. And I gotta show you something cool over here before I get to my point. So let's imagine that you, check this out. This is the waterfall. I swear it's gonna get started. So we got a waterfall back there. Takes a minute to get going, but once it gets going, it's really nice and, and peaceful. Um, but I'm gonna turn it off so you can hear me. So as you can see, the villas are very nice in Bali. But let's imagine that you, you bought this place and you wanna rent it out, and you've never rented it out before, and you put it on Airbnb, and there's zero reviews. Now, if somebody comes and looks at this listing, they're gonna be a little bit skeptical because nobody has commented on how great it is to say here yet. Now imagine if there's just even one review, one really good review from somebody who stayed here, they point out all the good features, they loved their stay, and if you look at this listing in Airbnb, you see that one great review, your trust factor is like a thousand times higher than if there were no reviews. So if you're just getting started online, your goal is just gonna be to get one review. So if you can get yourself to that point, your, your ability to close new deals and new clients is like a thousand times higher. But how do you get that first review? Well, maybe somebody buys this place and they need that one review, so they decide to give away a couple nights for free. Now, if you saw that online, what would you think? You'd probably think, awesome. And then you'd probably think, that's a scam because who gives away things for free? So you can see the paradox we're running into here. If you try and give things away for free, maybe that builds even less trust if you're just seeing something online. Now, how could we make it less of a commitment? Well, maybe they say call this number to see if you qualify to get it for free. Now you call the number, you get to talk to a real person and they explain to you over the phone that they're giving it away for free because they need reviews and so they don't mind giving up a couple nights rental income in order to get those reviews as long as you're willing to give them an honest review. Now you know the reasoning why they're giving it away for free and you've talked to a real person. So instead of it feeling like a scam, uh, you, they've built trust with you and now you're going to gladly take them up on that opportunity. So we do the same thing with Facebook ad clients. We wanna get a trial client if we're brand new and we've never gotten results before. And that's because that's going to give us the practice we need to build skills to work with lots of paying clients in our niche. Now, check out this outdoor shower. A lot of the showers in Bali, they, um, they're outdoors. So you can see there's no roof there. And so if it's raining, you're actually taking a shower in the rain. It's pretty cool though. <clears throat> so once you've actually offered your services for free to get a trial client in exchange for that review, that testimonial, you go out there, you pick a niche, you work with a trial client, and that gives you practice and allows you to learn the skills you need and get results and get that one review. And as I mentioned, 
Once you have that review, things are like a thousand times easier because the difference between one review and zero reviews is gigantic. The difference between one and two is not that big, even though each one is just a one review difference. So your goal is really just to get one review. It's not that overwhelming, is it? Now, if you're not willing to get on the phone with somebody, what are they gonna think? That's a scam. So your goal is to have as many conversations with people as you can over the phone, in person. Now you can imagine if the owners of this place offered it to their friends for free, they would probably immediately take them up on it. So if you're just getting started and you know some business owners who could benefit from your services, that's a great place to start. Now, friends of friends, your loose network, that's not your direct network, is an awesome place to start too because there's trust built through those connections. So again, with the Airbnb example, if they offered it to friends of friends, they'd probably take that no problem. So you can do the same thing in your business. If you're offering Facebook ad services, try to offer those to people in your network or people in your extended network. That's people that know your people. And the way you can do this is just post it on Facebook that you're offering a free trial. And if anybody knows someone who'd be a good fit to tag them in that, and then your network is actually gonna go and tag their network in your offer. So you can see if you're just getting started as a Facebook advertiser or you're trying to sell your online course, your goal should be to get one good review and that's gonna make things a thousand times easier. Now the way to do that, just like with an Airbnb rental, is to get somebody to use your services once and have a good time. That's gonna allow you to build the skills, it's gonna give you that review you need and everything's gonna get so much easier from then on out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the place and um, I hope that example was useful to you because I think a lot of people make it harder than it actually is to get started online. Don't make it some crazy thing. Just reach out, offer someone a free trial, get that one review and then use that. Parlay that into more clients, into paying clients, into success in your niche. So it's Christian Martin live from Bali. If you like this style video, if you want to see more lives from my travels and the digital nomad lifestyle and learn about marketing and sales at the same time, go ahead and just throw it in the comments, more please, and I will see you next time. Peace out.